Hi and welcome to this Mercer Ministries presentation as we continue our journey through the Darwin's Rule Book. Today we're going to look at all things bloodlust. What are we going to look at then? We're going to look at what bloodlust represents, how we represent bloodlust, how units gain bloodlust, how units retain bloodlust and how units lose bloodlust. So what is bloodlust? Well not to put too fine a point on it, it's the exhilaration of combat and the lust for battle that your units will feel as they deal death and destruction to their foes. Bloodlust in our game is, of Darklands is represented by blood tokens. Each blood token represents one bloodlust. We also have bloodlust tokens that represent five bloodlust and ten bloodlust. Each of these tokens can be bought through the Mercy Miniatures online website. Units gain bloodlust tokens by causing damage to the enemy, either by attacking them in close combat, shooting at them, invoking magic at them, slamming, trampling or even just moving through them. The key point here is that it is damage that is caused to enemy units, not your own units. So how do we gain the bloodlust? I'll talk about normal units first and come back to frenzied units. Units gain a bloodlust token for each and every 10 points of damage that they cause on an enemy unit. Here we have an example where five Gabrax are fighting three Brutes. The Gabrax during the battle cause 17 points of damage on the Brute unit. They receive one blood token. as they have caused a whole 10 points of damage. The remaining 7 points of damage are lost, although they are recorded on the Brute's damage sheet. Coming back to the Frenzied units, the Brutes are even more brutal uh, when it comes to bloodlust. They gain 2 blood tokens for each 10 points of damage that they do on any units. In this example of combat we can see that five Gabrax that are exalted and there's an exalted token at the side of that unit are fighting three Isian Brutes. The Brutes are frenzied and again we can see the token there. In the combat the Gabrax cause 17 points of damage on the Brute unit. They receive one blood token as they have caused a whole 10 points of damage, the remaining seven being lost in terms of bloodlust. So coming back to frenzied units well, they are even more brutal when it comes to bloodlust, as they gain two blood tokens for each ten points of damage that they do on an enemy unit. Going back to our example, the Brutes have fought back and have caused 22 points of damage to the Gabrax. As the Brutes are frenzied, they gain four blood tokens. Two for each ten wounds caused, with the remaining two wounds not contributing towards blood. Now, not only can a unit gain blood tokens, as they, they can also lose them. And this can be from a number of causes. A unit that has blood tokens attached to them will lose a token for each 10 points of damage that they suffer. The blood tokens are removed at the, at the result step of the assault, assault, shoot or invoke action or after any other action has been resolved. Going back to our example we see that the Brutes did 22 points of damage to the Gabrax so two blood tokens are removed from the Gabrax. In this example we can see that the Gabrax have only got one blood token remaining. That is removed and as the Gabrax have lost that blood token they also lose their exalted status and revert to being resolute. Now the Gabrax caused 17 points of damage to the Brutes which means that the, gab uh, the Brutes lose one blood token. Frenzied and exalted units retain their blood tokens and a unit in any other heart state would lose theirs. The Brutes are frenzied and therefore retain their blood. Now the Brutes will retain those three blood tokens throughout this hour as well as future hours depending on the results of combats and other interactions during the game. 
An exalted or frenzied unit that has retained blood tokens can lose those tokens in the same way as I have described for gaining them. Which means that for every 10 wounds that the unit suffers, they will lose a blood token. Here we have the example, the brutes that fought the Gabrax have survived that battle and are now a frenzied and have three blood tokens. The Gabrax wizard casts shardlings at the brutes and causes 30 damage. That 30 damage is converted into taking blood tokens away from the brutes. Ten, one blood token for each ten, which means the whole three blood tokens are removed from the brutes. Another way to lose blood tokens is at the start of each battle hour each unit that's blood tokens attached lose one token while frenzied units lose two tokens. This is also called calming down. I now also want to cover a unit that has blood tokens causing more damage to enemy units. Let's look at our previous brute unit. If they had three damage on them, sorry three blood tokens on them, and caused 40 damage to the Gabrak Shaman they would receive 8 blood tokens as the brew unit has already got 3 tokens on them another 5 is added to create the 8 finally remember any exalted or frenzied unit can retain blood if your units lose frenzy or exalted for any reason then they lose their blood tokens. Well there you have it, bloodlust. We've covered what bloodlust is, how we represent it in the Darklands game, how we can gain bloodlust, how we can retain bloodlust and how we can lose bloodlust. Thank you.